Let's go to Cape Town now, where chaos has erupted at the Brackenfell High School. Police have fired water cannons and stun grenades to disperse protesters. It's not clear at this stage what's triggered that violence, but tensions rose when police said more than 100 people were not allowed as per the permit were outside the school. The economic freedom fighters this morning began a peaceful march to the school over allegations that black students were excluded from what was a matric farewell party with white students only. The city of Cape Town has granted the party a permit allowing 100 members to join that demonstration. Earlier this month, EFF supporters were confronted by parents outside the school, resulting in one arrest. Various other organizations are also expected to join today's protest. Let's get more on these protests um, from outside Brackenfell High School in Cape Town. We crossed our reporter, Corbin August. Very good afternoon to you, Corbin. What's the latest? Good afternoon to you. Yes, we are coming to you from one of the corners leading to the high school, to Brackenfell High School. And at the moment, since we've been here this morning, the EFF members have started gathering just down the road. And the police gave the, EF, the city of Cape Town, gave the EFF permission for 100 uh, members to come together to protest today. However, down at the assembly point, which is just down the road from where the school is, there are currently hundreds of EFF members. And at this stage, uh, it's unclear if the police will, if police will allow uh, more people than the, city, than the city's permit allows for them to make their way to the school. Uh, we have uh, seen some altercations also earlier. Uh, we've heard about the stun grenade that was fired and some water cannon, and the police trying to um, push the EFF members back to the original, original assembly point. Uh, so at this stage, we are now waiting for the EFF to make their way from where they started gathering this morning, where they've started gathering since 10 a.m., to make their way to the school, where they are expected to be addressed by their leaders. They have set up a, a, a makeshift stage with a flatbed truck, and that's, the, that's in front of the school, where they are expected to be uh, addressed by their leaders uh, around midday today. That was the time where they were expected to be addressed. Uh, we do see a strong law enforcement presence here today, and we have barbed wire spanned right across the streets. The police have barricaded the roads. Uh, we have uh, water cannons, uh, many police vehicles also in the area just to maintain uh, law and order. We have seen the EFF uh, gathering on the one side of the school uh, and expecting the way. And we also have seen a group of community members on the field on the, on the other corner leading to the school. So I think police are trying to prevent the two groups from meeting as that might lead to a clash. Uh, for today, we have the, the school, uh, the learners have, there are no learners who are writing at the school today. Uh, matric exams are being written at an undisclosed location and exams for grades 8 to 11 uh, have been rescheduled. That's the situation at the moment. Corbett, have you managed to speak to any of the community members about how they feel about the protests that are going to take place there or um, to any members of the EFF who are also set to protest? Yes, well, when we spoke to um, some community members, they said that... When we spoke to some community members, they said that uh, when they came out today, they only came to... Uh, they were only coming to and make to make sure that the children and the school was safe. Uh, they some of them say that they aren't really uh, here to clash with uh, the EFF, but so far they have been peaceful. Um, from the EFF side, uh, what we've heard so far, just from talking to some of the members, they are saying that uh, they they have a right to protest and they have come here because they are because they are uh, trying to draw attention to the racial allegations that are being uh, leveled here at the school over this private metric party that was, held for, that was allegedly held for only whites. And now we can start seeing the EFF members. If you just look a bit further down the road, uh, you'll see the EFF gathering just down there at the bottom. And it appears as if they are now making their way to the school where they will be uh, staging their protest. Uh, it was scheduled to take place around Monday, but it looks like it might be a bit late today, maybe around in the, in the next 20 minutes or so. Corbin August, our reporter in Cape Town, following that story. Thanks for the update and heel throughout the course of the day alongside our Cape Town team. Tell us what's happening there.